Hello everyone. Hey this is Celia. I don't think you guys have seen her on my vlog. Do you have but... like a channel or something? Baby, let me down just like my drugs. Oh my god. I couldn't get it out. Oh, oh. I'm too late now, Sonny. Well, basically what is happening is Emma over here is psychic and she doesn't know yet. No, she's not. <laughs> she was talking about how someone she knew has a little cough cough. You can't see it on YouTube. Go Why? Look. I don't know, but they demonetize the video. What? That's the dumbest thing I've ever heard. Yeah, you've never seen like videos where people are like, you know the thing that's happening right now. Like they, they'll avoid saying I don't know why they take it down, but um, I don't want to be one of them. <laughs> <laughs> so... Right. I like how your phone looks. Like, I look good in it. I know. Isn't this camera good? What phone like, do you have? Like, it looks 12. like I'm tan, too. Yeah, and it's far away. Like, the, um, the 8 or whatever, it has a really close-up camera. Yes. Ew. I have the 8. See? See, I don't like that. I Actually, it gives us more color. I do kind of like that. It does. Whoa. I, I don't know which one I like better. <gasps> yeah, I don't like that. I like Dude, that this totally one. Different. They're like, I know. Look at this one. Looks like, <laughs> why is it like there's Point something on it? I know it's like like a filter. Screen. Mine's an XR. Yeah. Wait, should we compare all of them? Whoa. I want the XR is one. Than yours. <laughs> Curry fucking <laughs> corn tea. <laughs> yup. Wait, let's all smile. Oh. Wait, let's all smile. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> I wish I filmed that. She just dropped her video. Not just happened. <laughs> well, at least it's not a bug. <laughs> <laughs> like, nothing. Like, that was her job. And then right after um, she told us that, then our other friend, she got a call that her girlfriend's mom has the cock call. And hey. she got a call. <laughs> That's a really good way to put it, I feel like. <laughs> and then she left, and I guess she's quarantined for two weeks. And then our other friend is getting her tonsils taken yeah. out in a week. Well, if everything goes good. I forgot about that. I know, like, no one will be here, for real. Like, like for real. For real, for real. Especially I'm not trying to be here. Like, we need a blessing. Like, we just, you know, we deserve break. it. We need a like, break. Like, we've been working really good. We got our, well, she got four up this oh, time. I got five. <laughs> like, <laughs> we are doing good. Not a lot of us are passionate about this as much as we were when we came here because COVID kind of changed fun. everything and state it's board is so backed up world. that like, even if we were gonna do it, we'd have to go in at like August. Just remember that the school has been on about what you post. Hi, my name I'm is Celia Cox. Where I'm in cosmetology. I don't know, they did find my TikTok. Like last time, mm -hmm. someone snitched on you. This regular one. I this see yours. I know, I see yours. That's why I just got confused. Mm -hmm. I just well, I've been wearing that. my glasses. Oh my god, I forgot you had glasses. Your Versace glasses. Mm. <laughs> but I, I feel like they make me look ugh, so... No, I like them on you. Really? But well, how did you just put glasses on when you have contacts in? Oh, they were blurry as hell. <laughs> <laughs> no, I feel like they just like highlight my acne. Lexi, so until you go that on the goes computer away. and look up uh, a hair Oh, now you looks... want me to look on your computer? <laughs> I don't want you to put it on your damn YouTube. Yeah, I, I played my you. YouTube and she didn't let me watch it. I don't know what, what is up with that. No, but Lexi, <laughs> I, I want you to look up what a hairstyle that looks just like this. Well, I don't know what that is. Oh, period. Anyway, um, yeah, I will be trying to film as much as possible because I don't know how long we're gonna be here. It's April and we graduate in Not May. Not long. So, either way, if we get corny or not, we ain't gonna be here that long. <laughs> Bye, everyone! Bye! Emma! Goodbye! Bye! <laughs> I just wanted to show you guys my new skincare I'm using. 
I have not used it yet. This is the before and I will be documenting that experience. Okay, so the product is called Labry and I got the exfoliator, the deep pore freshener, and the deep pore cleanser and this aloe jelly and i guess this is supposed to work as a moisturizer this is what they're most known for and the company is 100 percent natural i am kind of new to this skincare stuff if you can't tell um <laughs> ooh, it's like a gel what Ooh, it feels so good and it smells so good oh my gosh y'all i like it already i don't even know if it works but i like it pore cleanser and i'm just gonna like spray it <laughs> i don't know i've never sprayed anything on my face before like no setting spray nothing like okay Okay. <laughs> Very refreshing. I really like it. Um, honestly, I can already tell that this is better than my other skincare brand I was using. I'm going in with the... <laughs> I'm going in. Um, I'm using the aloe vera jelly. And she really said this is like a moisturizer, so hopefully it is. I really like the feel of it. Okay. Ooh. <laughs> oh, it feels really thick though. Like, I'm kind of scared. That's what she said. Like, I'm supposed to leave this on my face. But I feel like I'm not doing it right. Or maybe I used too much. This is what my face looks like after the first day using it. Bro, these wasps are crazy. Oh my gosh, they'd be like by my car and shit. <laughs> it's so scary. But um, anyway, it's been like an hour. Oh my god, bro. Bro. They're so scary. Um, it's been like an hour since I did my skin routine and everything. And one thing I've noticed is that my face is really dry. Like it feels like I didn't even put any moisturizer on. So I don't know if this skincare line is for like acne prone skin that is oily instead of dry. Because I have dry skin, but then I have acne, so I'm it's like confusing, but I'm a kid doing it. I'm about to go get me some food. Bye. So it's been a week since I started using that and it is working. Like I know it probably doesn't look like that, but these are all just like scars now. Like when I look at it, up close there's actually like no pimples at all on my chin and now it's all just um it's like when you pop a pimple and then it has a red mark for a month like that stuff but my skin itself is actually clearing up hey guys so uh, today was um a pretty interesting day last period me and celia went to go um print papers for a project we're doing like we were actually honestly working and then we went to the bathroom and i was thinking that this is incriminating but it's not because we just got in trouble for this shit so um yeah we were in the bathroom honestly just minding our business and i guess a teacher came in there and she was like, yeah, I need you guys to come out of the bathroom. And I stalled it as long as I could. But then eventually we had to come out of the bathroom. And 
I tried to hide it like when I was walking but then she saw me and she was like oh and don't even try to fix your jacket so at that point I was just like okay I'm I'm fully okay with like admitting everything because at this point I can't even hide it so when we went down there um they searched me first but she was asking me about my class and everything and I was telling her that like me and my friend were in there because we were talking each other through a lot because honestly like yeah bathroom talks when you're in a bathroom with when you're in a stall with your other friend yeah you guys are gonna be talking about shit so I wasn't lying with anything I said and she was like and she was like oh so am I gonna find anything on you because I'm about to search you and I just said it right then and there I said yes you're gonna find my pen here you go blah 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 because I I was fully confident about that because it's CBD and it should be okay to hand it over and I know it's not legal when you're not 18 or whatever the fuck but I don't care CBD has amazing health benefits and honestly I do it too because it helps me like honestly and if I'm not getting totally gone out of my mind then yeah, I kind of don't understand why I should be in trouble for that. And I just put it on the table. And I also thought that if I did that, they wouldn't really talk to my friend because I was trying to make it seem like, yeah, my friend was just there for me. Like I was going through a lot. She's, you know, she was just there and I was doing my own thing. But then my friend had my back and she was saying the same thing on the other side and was like, yeah, my friend definitely doesn't have anything on her. Like it was all me, blah, blah, blah. So in the end, um, we ended up, I don't even know what's happening. I know she has some type of like in school suspension because they handle everything differently with like nicotine, THC and CBD. And I, <laughs> oh, and I left this part out in there, but when I was in there and I had my pen on the table or whatever, I literally told them, I said, hit that shit. You're not going to get high. Like hit it, hit it right now. If you don't believe me, it's CBD and they wouldn't hit it like what was gonna happen you know what i'm saying so i guess they're holding it for the weekend um and they're gonna like run tests on it and shit but they already found THC in it because yeah i have to refill carts to put the cbd in it like obviously there, there's gonna be something today i brought moldavite to school and i knew kind of what i was getting into because every time i bring it to school I either go down to the office, I get in an argument with somebody, I cry, something, but I've been telling myself that like before I am an adult, I want to go through as much experience as I can. And I even told the lady in there, because when she was searching me, she obviously found all my crystals and everything, and she found my moldavite, and it kind of looked like crack or something, because it's it just it's literally so small like the the way that that shit can change your life and you don't even need that much like it's crazy but she saw it and she was like what's this and i was like crystals and i was like that is actually the reason why all of this is happening right now and she was like what tell me more and i was like yeah it's multi and it's a crystal where it will throw things at you that you're supposed to see and everything and then i go to my car well i meet my friend and everything obviously and we talk about everything but then i go to my car and i'm sitting there thinking and i just start like <laughs> i kind of start crying because i'm thinking like just me wearing moldavite around my friends got them in trouble i hate being the reason for like for other people's trouble like w when it comes to me i honestly don't care what happens to me like i'm i'm sorry but like i have been through a lot so when a crazy shit happens to me it honestly does not feel anything but regular day life so when i found out that like i brought that crystal to school and it got my friend in trouble with me i started crying and then right when i started crying she pulled up next to me just like she probably just knew but um i just talked it out with her and stuff because i was just like Ugh. like if that was one of my other friends that like was more serious about getting in trouble and everything and like wasn't as forgiving like i would have literally been so crushed and i still was like even it just being my friend who honestly doesn't really care about like what happened it just still hurts me that like i feel like i was 
in some part responsible for everything that happened like yeah i was there but i did not want my friends to be taken down with me like i wanted to experience these things myself but i understand that now that like i can't control it you know so if you do have moldavite just know that like I literally have a sliver of it and it has uprooted my life like I can't even explain to you guys the things that have happened to me at school this year but just know that Moldavite has done so many things for me and today I realized that it can also affect the lives of people that are around you when you're wearing it so if you have that make sure you're not wearing it when you're around your friends like for real I don't even know if I'm gonna wear it to school anymore. I think I've experienced everything there is to experience. But um, yeah, that's what happened today. And I'm waiting to see like what our punishment is. Hey, <laughs> we are doing good. We are doing good. <laughs>